Last time on the Crooked Man. Wow, that was harsh. And that's how you get people to feel sorry for you, not beating the crap out of people and being annoying. And now back to the Crooked Man. Hello, and welcome back to the second part of The Crooked Man. When we last left our hero, we had just went to the hospital for some reason. Probably to do a Cindy. But little has happened because, well, it's kind of marveling how Dave was more likable than Ren. So, let's find a reason for visiting the hospital, shall we? Damn it. Oh, I can't stand you. <laughs> I know you're there. Oh, that was kind of odd. Oh. She just went to the... Mom's hospital room. There we go, we got a plot going on here. Timmy. Oh, she's gone, um, because of dementia or Alzheimer's. Once again, that's how you make likable characters. It's kind of heartbreaking. this guy. That just really cools at the feels. Well, back to our room once more. Wait, what? Oh wait, no, ours, our room was this one. Wait, what? Oh, the chair moved, I think. Oh, something on the computer? Something in a drawer. Leaflets. Um, courses. Oh, the former tenant once more. Anything in the trash can? Hmm. Well, I guess it's time to go to sleep once more. 
noises. And fucking telemarketers. Wait, who the- oh, Marion, the really rude girl that kind of stabbed us in the back, gotcha. Wait, what? Is that kind of yep, it's an item. Maybe we can burn it later. God damn it, crooked man, we're trying to get some sleep. Sink? Yeah. Are you sure we're not in Silent Hill? Well, that isn't the sink. Oh, the sink. No scrap of paper. Ahem, <clears throat> time for dramatic reading mode. There was a crooked man. And he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He brought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. Well, I guess that made some go to bed. Oh, it's a different crying this time. Welcome to the Crooked Man! No one gets sleep ever! God damn it, Crooked Man, stop destroying our shit. Well, it's better than the FK that was in, um, Deadly Premonition. Exposition, expos. Oh, get that glassy line, lady. Ah, oh, the one that we annoyed horribly last time. Well, oh, oh, on the first floor. Okay, very end of the first. I'll just reuse some um, texture. Huh. Uh, 
Well, she seems fairly nice. Welcome to the world of... Ah, fuck it, I'm not gonna ruin that joke. Alright, let's see what the crooked guy did while we were out. Did he rearrange our furniture? Flip a table. It was none of the above. He left dirty footprints. The horror. The horror? I knew that crack in the wall had to do with something. Wait, wait, Junji eat a joke? This hole was made for me. Is there a number on it? Or are we just coming to later? <laughs> Didn't I say poltergeist? Come on, I called it. Is there a number on the brass key? No, this is a small brass key. Is there anything I, no, I didn't think I encountered anything that was locked. Welcome to the world of Crooked Man, we don't get any sleep. Is that the radio? Those are the radio sound effects from before. Inside the room? Oh, another address. Or a special place. Silent Hill? I'm waiting for you in our special place. Silent Hill. Frankly, I like this better than Mermaid Swamp. This is so much better pacing. And that's how Nora Potion should react to creepy shit. Hmm. Dave's a friend after all. So is Shirley an ex? I'm kind of missing something. Well, you could always try playing a fish. You're just such a likable character, I actually care if something bad happens to you. Oh god, it's the mountains. Don't do it, David. <laughs> You're gonna end up in that old house. Not that old mansion shit. Don't do it, David. Prologue, David's Room, and...
And that's, I believe, will cut end at the prologue. So, will we actually end up in the Mermaid Swamp area once more? Will David find out who the previous tenant was? And who the hell is bothering him? And what does this all have to do with the Crooked Man? Next time on The Crooked Man.